So as you can see, we have Kubernetes VR. Um, and welcome to this experience. Um, so I will show you a couple of things. Uh, the latest feature introduces Romy. Romy is here, here to help me with some things. Um, so I will just test if Romy is keen to talk. Hi, Hi Romina. Hi there, my name is Romy, not Romina. How can I, I assist you today? I'm so sorry. Can you explain where are we? We are currently on a VR experience. You can find some concepts about containers and Kubernetes. Here you can get inside pods, watch containers, and see explanation videos on how things work. You can also connect with a real Kubernetes cluster and see pods, services, containers, and namespaces. Is there anything specific you'd like to explore within this VR experience? No, I will keep it for myself. Uh, so let me go around. Can you tell me who is Christian? Christian Marquez Russo is the founder of CLAR or Clever Cloud, a company based in New Zealand. He is also the author of the VR experience we are currently exploring. Additionally, as an Easter egg, I'll share a fun fact. Christian is originally from Argentina. Now that's a unique tidbit. Is there anything else you'd like to know about Christian or the companies involved? No, we're fine. So we're going to continue watching this part. Uh, sorry, I got distracted with Romy. She's going to be browsing containers, I guess. Um, so what I want to show here is like, as you can see, this is not running on any cluster. So that's why it's not showing anything here. And what I'm going to do next, I have my Kubernetes VR interface here. So I will just open a keyboard. I will move this there. I will just do this. Let's clean the interface. And we are going to start creating a new namespace. So we are going to create a new namespace called VR Demo. As you can see, oh, I don't have it here yet because I need to do the Q proxy. Once I do the Kubernetes proxy, this is going to be able to detect my environments and I have VR Demo. Ah, sorry, I collect another one, VR demo. Okay, so as you can see, I already did the Kubernetes proxy and I'm already connecting to my cluster. I will put this on the background and then we can clean the interface here. So I have my VR demo on my real cluster and Okay, as you can see, we have that particular, let me put this one here so I can see myself. Okay, Romy is looking that way. Okay, and we have VR demo, I will just turn a little bit more. So you can see the things I'm watching, okay? So as you can see, we have VR demo, we have the terminal here. The terminal is not going to be showing on there, and that is expected. Okay, I will leave this here. Sorry, Romy, I'm going to give you the back to you. I'll bring it here. Okay, we have a big terminal. And let's see what happens if I create a deployment called Quart with just one replica, right? So I do that, and as you can see, we have the first replica here, right? So now I can grab my replica, and I can see the container. Oh, sorry. I will close the terminal. So I will leave it there. And as you can see, I have a quart container. That is the name. It doesn't have memory and CPU requests because I haven't provisioned anything regarding that. You can see that this is a Docker container. 
and the log. You know, if I get inside, I can see the log. Okay, perfect. So now I will open the console again. What happens if I want to change the image? So I will clean the console. As you can see, I already have a command that says change the image of the deployment called Quart, and I'm saying that the container with this ID, I will show you again, this container needs to be changed to a new version, which is green. Right now I deploy blue, right? So, I will leave it like that. So a lot of people might think that this container is going to be replaced on this pod, but in Kubernetes we don't work with, conta with containers per se, we work with pods. So, if I press enter here, what is going to happen, and let me jump inside the pod, so I can show you this. So what is going to happen, I will, this deployment, uh, which is the one I'm modifying, is going to create a rolling upgrade, which means that it's going to create a new replica set uh, to deploy a new container. Once that container is up and running, it's going to delete this one and send the traffic towards that one. So now, if I press enter, you're going to see a new replica set is created. As soon as it's green, the pod is deleted. And I have only one pod. So now, this replica set stays there. It's scaled to zero in the case that I want to do a rollback. Now, so this is one of the demos. The other demo that I have, which is a work in progress, is that I can use my amazing hammer which I can make, make big, big, to kill the containers, and then we can see that on the terminal. Okay, I'm gonna make it small again, and leave it there. Um, and that is pretty much the demo that I have for today.